The greatest seven series of all time. Of all time. P38 750 folks and those of you all with lesser E38s that are equipped with self-leveling suspension. There are a number of seemingly imperceptible leaks in the engine bay. Generally, those of you who are soiling your correct hand drive, left hand drive, driver's side fuel rail or frame rail, I mean, the main culprits are would of course be the power steering lines, self-leveling hydraulics, fluid, CHF 11S, usually where your reservoir sits. There's the line that goes from the reservoir up to the cooler in the front that has that o-ring. There is the line that goes from the bottom of the reservoir and connects to the pump with the banjo bolt and two crush washers. Those are easy enough to fix. The one that gets left behind is the one at the back that goes down to the self-leveling in the rear. Connected with this nipple and careful when you're removing that because they all crack off and you're screwed because this thing is discontinued. So you can try your luck to find a new unit, I mean a used unit, but best to be delicate with your original one. It's a 11 millimeter on this side and I believe it's a 15 on that side. And you can see that one would generally think it's steering box lines but as you can see behind all the sludge, it's actually a hard line up until here. So this side will get cooked, but there's nothing that can really happen here. And these are not disturbed, so there's no reason those banjo bolts or crush washers should be at all hindered, causing your leak. Moreover, this hose has a significant amount of heat shielding. If you got your motor out, why not? The other thing you've got here, on this side is where the oil filter sits at. The return on the housing, it's a hard line that turns to this crimped soft line and it's connected only to the hose clamp. And these get cooked, as you can see. And the clamps make a, a deep imprint onto the hose. The hard line loops around, down, and then it ends up at your pan right over there. There's that banjo bolt hiding right down there, right over there. On the opposite side of the engine bay, while the engine is removed, and generally invisible hoses over here, these are your few hoses that go up to the quick disconnect, quick release. They go to both of your fuel rails on the M73 engines. This may look all right upon first glance, but nope. And you sure as hell don't want to take any chances with few lines sitting right at your exhaust manifolds. There's ample heat insulation on this AC line. It goes to your comp the top of your compressor, but there's nothing that saves those two. Another area that's difficult to reach while the engine is in there are these two soft lines for the ABS module. They're visible, but it's really a pain in the ass to access them while We've got the intake plenum and the valve cover in the way, the exhaust manifolds, heat shield, and all that crap. So might as well do a one and done. I have never noticed that on the subframe. Hope that helps you all. As Muhammad Ali said, service to others is the rent you pay for your time here on this earth. The greatest seven series of all time. I'm the champ of the world. All of you bow. All of my critics growl, all you suckers who write the Rang magazine, Box Illustrator, all you suckers.